Hey guys, welcome aboard the 392 Nortec Superfish. Uh, we've been fishing this boat for the last two years in the Billfish Tournament Circuit. We've had uh, two successful seasons out of the boat. I thought it would just be a great opportunity here for us to share with you the layout of the boat and why we think uh, she grazes as fish. We're here at the console. This is one of my favorite features about the boat. As you can see, it's, it's real wide. You have a large windscreen here room for dual 15 inch screens. We typically sit three guys back here behind the console and you're out of the wind, you're protected. You can be sitting here cruising 60 mile an hour, have a conversation without raising your voice. And we typically, I sit down everywhere we go. It's one of my favorite things about the boat, cruising offshore, autopilot on, everything's at my fingertips. I can see over the bow in the seated position. And so on our long range, 150 mile runs, you know, for two and a half, three hours, I, my body endures less fatigue because I'm able to sit down in the drive instead of having to stand up. Here on the dash, we have our carbon fiber backlit waterproof switch panel. Um, the components on the starboard side of the boat are located on the starboard switch panel. Components on the port side are located on the port switch panel. Up above here you have your standard overhead electronics box. It has integrated net storage for storing your phones, remotes, you know, two VHFs mounted up high, easily visible, or you can hear and monitor them at fingers touch. Built-in GPS speedometer, overhead LED lighting, built-in overhead speakers. My favorite areas of the 392 Nortec Superfish. This is Transom Live Well configuration. Two huge 64 gallon oval wells, center line on the boat, two 8 inch tuna tubes built into the boat. Um, you can run these live wells at wide open throttle, you can run them at idle, they pressurize. The amount of flow that flows through these live wells causes a circulation in a tank that achieves the fish schooling up and when they school up instead of darting around swimming into each other, they hold position. And I can look back, I can be running 60 mile an hour in rough seas and look back and my baits are just sitting, just steady, just swimming against the current. No air in the live well. Um, also on the transom here, we've got 13 rod holders. This is an area we like to carry the bigger, heavier rods out of the way when we're running offshore. And once we get to a spot here, we have the, um, we got seven rod holders here and another 13 on the top. And that gives us, you know, 20 rod holders where we have that are center line on the boat that we can clear the deck and get them out of the way, keep our 360 degree fishability. Um, let's move on to the deck here. Here's um, all right, your rear lazarette port side storage. It's got two built in five gallon bucket holders, easy access, um, backlit, easy access to your diaphragm pump here that drains the two forward fish boxes in the event you ever have to replace it. It's right there. Now we've gotten into this sea chest system developed for this boat and it's a stainless steel system, it's two independent systems, built in sea strainers, you've got backup live well pumps pre-wired to a switch on the dash and I gotta say guys the flow that comes out of these live wells is it's just tremendous. It's just amazing how well it keeps the bait alive. I mean we, we'll have bait in the live well for four days and, and pull it out and they're just as frisky as they are when we put them in there. Two more bucket holders on this side here. Shut that. Another thing we have here, you can see, you know, we got uh, four fuel selector valves um, for each motor. Each motor can draw off of any tank, and the tanks are all center line. So that gives you ability to adjust the center of gravity of the boat based on loading conditions, as well as your range is not limited to whichever motor burns the most fuel because each motor can draw from any tank on the boat. All right, let's move forward here. This um, Nautical Designs Tackle Center. It's got a built-in rear seat hidden away under this rear seat. We got a 160 port insulated drink cooler. A little safety latch here. It drains on the deck. Um, I can tell you on our multi-day trips, you know, we normally freeze a few waters, put it in there, and it, it holds ice the whole time. Another great feature of this tackle center is a tremendous amount of storage built into it. 
As you can see, you got five nice heavy duty starboard drawers here. Hold whatever you need. Um, storage, you know, no wasted space here. You can see we got dock lines stored under here. There's a cavity void under here that allows you just to stuff your tackle bags or lure bags or anything you need to clear the way. Move on to the starboard side. Yeah, the tackle trays aren't in here right now, but basically what you have is one, two, three, four, five of the dual thick tackle trays, and they're too thick, so you can actually put 10 of them in there. And then you can put six of the single thickness tackle trays, just standard Plano boxes in there. So it's just a ton of tackle storage. As you can see, storage on this side as well. All right, here we have the first fish box I'm gonna show you guys. It's, um, it's 84 inches long, it's 500 quarts, double thick insulation, it's drained overboard via diaphragm pump. Um, I've had guys that are six foot five inches tall climb in this box and I've shut the lid on them. All right, moving forward. All right, this box is 400 quarts. It's 74 inches long. It holds ice tremendously. You can fit two 130 pound class tuna in there, head to tail, you know, with top, top it off, a fish on top of it. And what I like to do is I'll fill these boxes, one of them all the way up in the main fish box, maybe two thirds of the way up. That way I've got a spare ice hole to be able to transfer ice at a later time to top my fish off at the end of the day. See, we've got life vest holders under the gunnel here for, you know, 10 anglers. It's an option on the boat. This owner of this boat decided he wanted it. You know, we have it for safety reasons. Plus, anytime the Coast Guard comes to pull you over, the first thing they see is that, and they're glad that safety is a top priority for you. I see the oversized lid on this uh, rod locker here. It allows us to, it's, it's eight and a half foot long. It allows us to be able to place, you know, eight and a half foot flying gas and some of your longest gear. You know, it can fit in the box. You can shut the lid. It's completely out of the way. Here we have the uh, perfectly ground 32 gallon well right here. It um, has a diaphragm pump that drains it overboard because it's below the water line. So in the event we're done using it, shut the valve, pump it out. We don't have to carry the water around. Um, another thing I hadn't showed you guys, all right, these, these drains right here, that's, that's schedule 40 PVC, one and a half inch diameter. This all drains overboard. So you don't have to worry about tuna scales or coagulated blood clogging it up. And these channels direct it, you know, into the drains, so they go straight overboard. You know, in the event you do have a clog, you can stuff a water hose through there and make it go out the side of the boat. And one great thing about it is when we're killing fish up here on the bow of the boat, we don't have to wash the blood all the way to the back of the boat. Right. Here's another one of my favorite things about the boat. It's oversized 1200 quart, huge fish box. We put 13 90 pound tuna in here, you know, on a regular basis. They fit no problem. It's got a diaphragm pump, drains overboard, holds ice for several days. It's, these coolers are basically built like a Yeti cooler. They got about an inch and three quarter, you know, core foam insulation all the way around them. It's all uniform. Whereas I'm 240 pounds, I'm gonna climb in here and show you. fit about five or six of me in there. It wouldn't be comfortable, but it fits. All right, moving forward, this is designated life raft, um, ditch bag. This is the safety storage. In the event we hit something running at night and heaven forbid the boat's acting like it's gonna go down, this is gonna be the last place to go. And as you can see, there's already an eight man life raft in here, plenty of room for it, ready to go. Another thing you can see in this box is they left the carbon Kevlar exposed. It allows you to see what this, this hole's made out of with the solid fiberglass and carbon Kevlar reinforcement. Moving forward here, got the oversized anchor locker. 
And as you can see, it, ha it houses the stainless anchor, anchor windlass, plenty of drop for your road, um, switch right here, fresh water wash down built into the system. The things about this boat, this is the center console fishing boat. In my opinion, fishing on the bow, when you get that big fish on, whether he's a marlin or a big tuna, if I can fight him up here on the bow, away from the four razor blades in the back, I know I've got a lot better chance of actually landing that fish and getting him to the boat. So we were able to design the gunnel height on this boat to where any angler from you know five foot five to six foot five could comfortably stand on the bow in a full harness get their toes tucked under the bow and their legs on the combing pad and be able to work a fish all the way around the boat as well as landing a fish up here we're able with the with an eight foot gaff we're able to gaff 150 pound tuna you know right here with a firm grip lift them straight up sling them right in the fish box there and when it comes to wash downs we got four raw water wash downs throughout the boat four fresh water wash downs throughout the boat the raw water washdowns have two separate systems, you know, two outlets on the starboard, two outlets on the port. Tremendous flow coming off the sea chest, so it enable us to really clean the blood off the decks in a hurry. And with our integrated drain system, I don't have to rinse all the blood to the back of the boat. I can spray it off right here and it goes in the channels, evacuates the boat, we're good to go. Grab another one. Alright, moving forward here is our battery box. Okay. This is, a, this is a dry storage on the boat. You got two heavy duty compression latches with a solid seal. And you got six Group 31 AGM standard on the boat. You know, one for each engine, two for house batteries. Built in chargers, all the stuff you don't want to get salt water on. It's in here up above the water line in the event you ever have water in the bilge. You don't have to worry about rust. You don't have to worry about in the event the boat's sinking, your batteries aren't going to be underwater. Just think it's an ideal place center line here in the boat four is three piece construction as many rod holders as you want across the boat my last tournament boat had 82 rod holders and i can tell you you always need one somewhere you can't have too many of them the boat also has looking aft and forward We've got eight oversized Gem Lux cleats located conveniently throughout the boat where you can reach them standing in the cockpit. Another convenient feature is fuel tank fills on both sides. Each tank has fills on both sides, so when we go to the gas station, you know, we can double up on pumps so we don't have to drag a hose across the boat. And then same got an observation tower, ladder built in right here. Let's climb up. Come on over. Great visibility here, room for two guys, easy. You know, we've got some extra rod holders here, so if they're busting on the top water, if you got a pitch bait down in the forward live wheel, you, know, you can sling it right there to them. We also offer a set of controls up here, or a buggy top for shade if you like. Compartment. Stainless steel fire extinguishers. Plenty of headroom down in here. You have to access your, your transducer on a step tool. You know, they're usually hard to paint to get to. Here we have. Yeah, there she is. You yeah. know, right there. Easy to get to if you ever need to service. Tech does an excellent job with their rigging, their wiring. All the glass is smooth here. Nothing to chafe your arms on. Everything is very well organized it all makes sense it's labeled power steering pumps right here it's not in the bilge autopilot pump right here each individual component to a switch on the dash is a home run to every component every bilge every pump there's no terminal blocks anywhere where we're splicing anything everything's home run um, vsr system here this is your four starting batteries your two house batteries, key switches for safety. Um, everything here is also breakered. You can see the boat comes standard with, with four electric reel outlets. So if you're fighting a fish and it trips, just walk in here, bam, trip the switch. You know, your bilge pump's always hot. Uh, fusion stereo here, built into the door. 
open this hatch here. Easy access to be able to tune my amps, work on anything. Everything's secure and organized. You know, it's uh, top-notch rigging. Um, it's a work of art. Stay solid. You know, we've got over a thousand hours on one of the tournament boats we fish on and everything's rock solid, just as clean as it was the day it was new. No corrosion, no salt. It's just a waterproof compartment in there. All right, guys, that wraps up your, your walk around layout tool on the 392. But now let's take where she really shines. Let's take this baby for a ride. As you can see here, we got all three wells rolling, both tuna tubes rolling, the system's completely pressurized. You can see chest there with everything running, there's no drawdown, plenty of volume flow.
Thank you all for viewing Nortex 392 Superfish. Tight lines.